Hey, Friendly Neighborhood Immunologist here, and this is actually the second video in a series. My first video is called How Allergy Works, and it discusses the immune cells that respond to different types of allergens, like milk or pollen or sesame, and then what happens afterwards. So if you want to click on that first, I think it'll put this video in a really good context. If you're comfortable with how allergies in the immune system works, just stay with me then. So today I'm drawing for you how allergy shots work under optimal circumstances. So let's get started. All right, so let's do a recap of the last video, just in case you haven't seen it. This pink cell over here, it's called a macrophage. And a macrophage literally means large eater. These are the types of cells that constantly survey your body's environment. The example I used last time was sesame. So let's say that you ate a sesame bagel, and you can see here that the macrophage decided to pick up the sesame bagel and bring it into the cell and break it down. I'm going to draw that in a brown color. And then it's going to want to run this by some of the more advanced cells in your body. And these advanced cells live in your lymph nodes. So the macrophage is going to have to travel a ways. Depends on where they were. So macrophages could travel to a lymph node in your knee, in your groin, the base of uh, your jaw, um, your underarms, places like that. So the macrophage is going to talk to basically the immune cell in charge of, well, just about everything. They're called the T cell, and in my mind, the T it doesn't stand for um, thymus, it stands for tell. So the T cell tells other cells what to do. So the macrophage is going to run the scenario by the T cell. It's going to say, hey, is sesame dangerous? And because it's an allergy, it means that you probably have inflammation in your body right now. It could be eczema, it could be recently experiencing a cold, but you have inflammation. So the macrophage is going to tell the T cell, due to the inflammation in the environment, that sesame is dangerous. And now the T cell is going to tell its neighbor, the B cell, probably the second most powerful immune cell in the body, to produce antibodies. Antibodies are these Y-shaped uh, proteins right here. They can decorate the B cell, or they can be secreted into the environment and just float around your blood and tissue. So this antibody is specific for sesame. And they're eventually going to bind over here to a mast cell. Mast cells actually have these perfect little grooves to bind and wear an antibody as if it were a B cell. They're the only cells in the body that can wear antibodies as if they were a B cell. And now, this mast cell, the next time you eat a sesame bagel, you're in trouble. So this whole process right here the macrophage eating the sesame, taking it to the T cell. The T cell telling the B cell to make the sesame antibody. This whole process takes one to two weeks. And these antibodies have a very special name and it matters. It's called I, G, E. Now you could have different uh, letters there's IgA, G, E, D, and M. IgE causes allergies because they fit perfectly on this mast cell. So if the mast cell binds to sesame, in a couple of weeks you have another bagel, they're gonna drop these little green circles I drew. They are gonna drop just tens of thousands of these little green molecules, which are histamine. That's why most allergies or most allergy pills are called antihistamines because they are supposed to block 
histamine once the mast cell releases it into the environment. Okay, so that's an allergy. So each and every time you would eat sesame, there would be more T cells, more B cells, more antibodies, and more mast cells wearing them, which is why each time you experience an allergy, it can feel worse and worse. Histamine causes runny nose, itchy eyes, hives, uh, potentially even the swelling of the throat during a severe type of allergy called anaphylaxis. All right, recap's over with. What you've been waiting for, how do allergy shots work? Now, just a disclaimer here, allergy shots work for most people, but not all people. In fact, people with severe peanut allergies as an adult often do not respond to the allergy shot. Okay, so let's say that the allergy shot is for sesame. You're given a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of sesame. And ideally you're given this amount of sesame during a period of your life when you're experiencing little to no inflammation. And when you're experiencing little to no inflammation, this macrophage here, I'm going to abbreviate macro because we're friends now, it's going to activate completely different T cells. It's still going to travel to the lymph node. Alright, so now I have to introduce to you a concept that not all T-cells are created equally. There's different types. So over here under allergy, this type of T-cell is called a Th2. And over here, a macrophage, after an allergy shot, it's going to activate a different type of T-cell, a Th1 or a Treg. And often, it's both. So a Treg's pretty cool. They literally stand for T regulatory cells and they happen at the end of a cold or at the end of inflammation and their job is to shut things down, shut down the immune system. The immune system would have cleared your cold and you would have a bunch of inflammation left over and the Tregs shut it down. So what they're gonna do is exactly what you would expect based on what I just told you. They are going to shut down your B cells. So this B cell was making antibodies and it was dropping these IgE in the environment. It was doing that. But the Treg shut it down. How did it do that? So the Tregs make a special cocktail of proteins called cytokines and the ones that shut things down, I'll show you right here, IL-10 and TGF beta. Now, I call these lullaby cytokines because they put the immune system to sleep. Um, so here, the IgE antibodies are going to drop because the Tregs are going to shut down these B cells right here. Now, cancer cells actually take advantage of this trick and use it to suppress the immune system. So if you're interested in that, I do have a video on how cancer works. The macrophages can also activate Th1 T cells. Why is that important? Because they're basically, you know, mortal enemies with Th2 cells. So if you think about Star Wars and the Force, uh, <laughs> they're basically on opposite ends of the Force. So Th1 do activate B cells, but they make a completely different antibody. So here, this T cell is going to tell this B cell to make IgG. And if you want the specifics, it's IgG4. But what really matters is that these antibodies, they don't fit on a mast cell. They don't. They can't wear them. It's basically like one of the uh, stepsisters in Cinderella trying to put on her shoe. It just, it's not going to fit. It doesn't work. So here, the allergy shot has given you not one, but two ways to stop you from experiencing allergy because your mast cells have nothing to wear. All right, so IgG4 cannot bind to the mast cell 
in addition, here, they're not making IgE, so IgE is also way down. Ig4 is way up. And IgG4 can do one more cool thing. It can actually compete with IgE and take its place so that IgE is less likely to find the sesame antigen. You can also do one type of booster. Let's see. I'm always going to misspell it. O malizumab. Malzumab. This is giving the allergy shot plus an antibody. You might have guessed it. It's an IgG4. Mm, small g. And what does this do? I'll try to show you in the small amount of free space available. But basically, you still have IgE floating around, which is why the process takes six months to a year. You've got to get rid of all of those IgE producing B cells. You've got to convert them to the IgG4 type, or you have to shut them down with Tregs. And that takes a long time. But these um, antibodies, I'm going to draw them in a different color because you're going to see why in a minute. Let's say that the omalizumab antibodies are in red. What they do is they actually grab the IgE antibodies. So if the Amalzumab antibodies are within your bloodstream and your tissue, they're gonna grab, they're gonna grab up all the IgE so the mast cell can't wear them. Okay, so under what circumstances might this might this not work? Basically, if you are continually experiencing inflammation, then you're going to end up having this type of a response. So you have to make sure there's little inflammation. Uh, you could also get allergy instead of the tolerance from allergy shot um, if, you, um, if you have too much IgE already. If you have too many T cells and B cells that contribute to the IgE production, it would just take too long. You would experience so much inflammation in the process that you would never be able to um, stop the mast cells from dumping their histamine. All right, there you have it. Allergy shots, the entire goal is to stop you from making IgE antibodies. If you can stop doing that, the mast cells have nothing to wear and they can't dump that histamine and make you feel awful. So allergy shots goal is to activate T regulatory cells to shut down B cells or activate Th1 T cells, which will make a completely different type of antibody, the IgG4, when those T cells talk to B cells. It's actually called isotype switching, and I'll probably make a video about it in the future. But that's the goal of allergy shots. And they won't work for somebody like me. Um, my allergy is actually too severe, but I know that this does work for a lot of people. It's a lot of time and effort, and you have to stay consistent. Uh, but there are very good results. And I've actually put two papers in the description on um, the description box. And if you like this and you have other burning questions about allergies or the immune system or COVID, anything, please um, drop it in the chat and like and subscribe. All right, stay healthy.